Hello and welcome to the CBIT, where we're going to show you how to create virtual kits and connection using some of the more advanced features. In the competitive automotive aftermarket world, it's all about finding ways to help you stand out from the competition while offering customers more options that save them time and money. Product bundling is one of those offerings that can give you a competitive edge, incentivizing customers to buy from you, leveraging convenience and discount pricing. And virtual kits help move inventory, increasing your average order sizes while not taking up any additional warehouse space because you're utilizing parts you already have available on the shelf. So there's no need to make room for more SKUs in your inventory or your inventory management system. And virtual kits are a must for those customers that service large fleets of vehicles, as these fleets will typically be made up of similar makes and model years. So you can probably already see the advantages of having pre-made kits at the ready. Using features of the connection tool, I'm going to show you how to do all of this with a few clicks of a button. We're going to walk you through the process step by step, but first we want to make sure that you're familiar with the two features we're going to cover. The first is favorite jobs and the second is saved orders. If you haven't watched the eBits on either topic, don't worry, we're going to cover them in this eBit. For a better overview or understanding of either of these features, please be sure to check out the eBits on those topics. Favorite jobs can be found under the part search options, indicated by the wrench icon. With favorite jobs, the user has the ability to create a pre-made or can job that will apply to any vehicle populated in connection. This means that once the job has been created for one vehicle, it doesn't have to be created again when the user looks up subsequent vehicles. We're going to go ahead and create a favorite job in this example using the part search feature to build the job. Let's go to our favorite vehicles list and pull in our 2010 Tahoe. And then from here, we can begin building our job. We're going to select pads, rotors, and calipers in this example to build a front brake kit. Once we selected all the parts for the job, we simply click on the start to the far right. We'll name this front brake job for now. Now we go back into our favorite jobs and pull all the parts in with a single click. If you don't want all the parts for a job, it's easy to just deselect what you don't want. For example, if you don't want calipers for this job, you can click off of those. For this example, we need everything in the kit, so we're going to leave it as it is. Once we've selected our front brake parts, we go to the parts landing page. Here's where it can become a little challenging, depending upon how many line offerings and brands you have available. Thanks to our left-hand navigation bar and our part search bar, we can make this part a lot easier. Let's find our brake pads first. Deselecting everything in the part search bar except brake pads, and then narrow the options even further using the left-hand nav. In this example, we'll choose AC Delco Advantage Pads. If you want to build different kits, you can choose good, better, best options for your customers. We'll then do the same with our rotors and finally our calipers. Once we've got everything added to the cart, Let's click on the card icon to make sure everything looks right. From here, I can also decide if I want to add anything additional to my kit, or if I've selected too many of something, I can make changes as well. Once I'm satisfied with my selections, I click the Save Order button. We'll name this 2010 Tahoe Front Brake Kit. Now we can see this in our saved orders. As you can see, we have a couple of kits we've already created here. And as you add kits, the list will grow. We can use our smart search bar under the saved orders to find the kit we're looking for. Here we'll type Tahoe, and as we begin typing it, it filters everything else out. Now, as you might guess, it might be a little time consuming to create a kit for every make, model, and year vehicle on the road. You also probably know that brakes for a 2010 Tahoe fit many more applications than just this year and model. So, going back into our saved jobs, we're going to look at a third feature that will help us with efficiently creating our brake kits. Once you've pulled the saved orders back up, you can see each part listed here. And just to the right of the part number, we have a camera icon. This is our handy buyer's guide found here in the cart and also on the parts landing page. Let's go ahead and click this and open up the buyer's guide for the pads. We can see here all of the year, makes and models that this pad number fits. As a seasoned parts professional or automotive service expert, you're probably already aware of all the applications for a part number, but there might be a couple of surprises in there as well. Here we see that these fit a Tahoe, Silverado, Yukon, and even some Cadillacs between the years 2006 and 2018. So we can broaden our kit to include these models as well. First, we want to make sure that the rotors and calipers also fit these model years, so we repeat the process for those as well. Once we've found that common denominator for all three part numbers and what model years they fit, we'll rename our kit to something more practical. To do so, we send the saved order back into our cart Select the Save Order button again, and we'll rename it 2006 to 2018 Yukon, Tahoe, and Silverado 1500. Now we can see this is on our list at the top. You'll notice that it didn't delete our old kit. We can delete it here, 
or we can use it as a starting point and go back and create that kit for our Cadillac application. Now at first glance, this might appear time consuming to create these virtual kits for your catalog library. But if you remember a couple of simple steps, your entries will grow organically. Whenever you're looking up parts for a vehicle or a vehicle comes into your shop for service, if you've already created the brake kit under favorite jobs, remember to start there. You're already saving many steps by clicking the pre-made job instead of searching out parts from scratch. Once the parts populate, simply choose the ones you want for this job and add them to your cart just as you would if you were ordering them anyway. Once you go into the cart, just remember to add one more step before ordering. Click on that save order button and name it whatever you like for now. At the end of the day, you can go back into your list of saved orders and simply use the buyer's guide or your good old automotive knowledge to expand the application coverage for the orders you've saved. You'll find that you have an expansive list of brake kits in no time at all. The same process can be followed for several other kits like oil changes, tune-ups, air conditioning jobs, and many more. Just remember the two crucial steps to implement into your regular part search favorite jobs, and saved orders. We hope that this eBit has been informative and maximizes your connection tool knowledge to help you save time and better serve your customers. That's all we have for this eBit. Have a great day.